Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Sharam Sarudi. I'm the senior analyst at uh, OC Auto Consultants. Um, basically, uh, we are an automotive market research and consulting firm. Uh, there are over uh, 30 uh, different brands of automobiles in the U.S. market right now, and there are more than 400 distinct models of cars and trucks in the market. And uh, the main job of our analysts uh, is to uh, gather the technical specifications and the results of all the technical tests that are done on these vehicles. We gather these uh, data and information, analyze them, and store them in our computer systems uh, to use them in the future for our clients who are in the market to lease or purchase a new car or SUV or truck. We also uh, try to make it to, our, to the dealerships and test drive the vehicles so we could have hands-on experience with the vehicles. I personally try to uh, Go, go and test drive somewhere around 20 to 25 uh, models of uh, automobiles every month. Uh, we we uh, established this company back in 2004 purely for the purpose of uh, protecting the interests of the clients or the interests of the consumers. Uh, we noticed that uh, for years the way this business has been done is that you go to the dealership and you deal with that car salesperson and that there is a major conflict of interest in the dealership. Uh, basically, the job of that car salesperson is to protect the interests of the dealership. Their, their, the interest of the dealership is to sell the specific brand that they carry, that they have in their inventory. Your interest is to have the best model of automobile for your needs and your driving experience and the type of roads you drive. Again, they're, uh, their interest is to sell the vehicle at the maximum profit, at the highest price with maximum profit. Your interest is to buy it at the least profit for a dealership or at, at the maximum discount. So there's, all, there's always been this conflict of interest which justifies having a neutral consulting company like ours, like OC Auto Consultants, that could come in, uh, have no financial relationship to the dealership or to the automaker, and receive all of its fees from the client to protect the interests of the client. Uh, we work in uh, all 50 states, anywhere in the United States that you live, any major city, you could contact us, uh, you could go through our website, www.ocautoconsult.com, or you could uh, call us at the telephone number that you see on the, on the uh, uh, television screen, and uh, we'll be glad to help you uh, in assist you in help in, in choosing the best vehicle for your needs and obtaining the absolute lowest price. We are in, in direct contact with all marks and all types of dealerships all over the country, which, has been, uh, which is uh, unprecedented. You never had a central point from anywhere where you could call from anywhere in the country uh, to get assistance in, or consulting to uh, uh, choose the right car at the right price. Uh, and the fact that uh, we are completely unbiased and we, wor uh, we work with all makes and models, all different brands, that, that is also unprecedented. You never had, uh, you have had that in the past with used cars, but with new cars, new car franchises, obviously they're, they only deal with the brand that they sell. We work with all 30 different brands that are on sale in the United States. Uh, the main, um, again, the some of the fundamental reasons for establishing this company, this consulting company, uh, is that, uh, see, in life, uh, for different matters, we always use specialists slash experts. For our taxes, we use uh, our family or uh, personal accountant. For medical issues, we use our family doctor. For uh, our uh, issues related to investments, we use a financial planner or investment planner. Even for real estate, we use our uh, personal or family real estate. But for automobiles, we have never had this opportunity. There's never been a consulting, uh, neutral, unbiased consulting company that could assist you to, that, that are experts and consultants when it comes to automobiles. So the big question here becomes, uh, you know, we buy hundreds and thousands of products through our lifetime. The, I guess the $64 million question here is, is automobile a product that's, that is deserving and worthy of a consultant? And uh, I'm going to put the facts in front of you. You decide whether this product is worthy of, a, uh, of having a consultant or not. 
uh, one, first of all, reason number one. If you think about, think about uh, a car or an automobile, it's a major investment. Think about what percentage of your, uh, uh, your income goes toward an automobile, especially if you have two, three, four automobiles in your family. And don't think about just the cost of the, the upfront cost of the automobile and uh, don't think of, think of just the uh, monthly payments. Think about other expenses such as insurance, such as uh, repairs, such, uh, such as um, uh, cost of maintenance, cost of repairs. If you add all that up, sometimes, uh, and you add that for all the family members, sometimes you see you're paying more for your transportation needs than for your housing. Uh, so that is reason number one. Reason number two, our lives depend on, uh, or should I say our livelihood uh, depends on, on cars. Think about in this country, United States, everyone needs cars. I have a lot of clients that come from Europe that have never had cars. They don't even survive one month in the United States. You cannot survive without a car in this country. Uh, just think about all the uses that you have uh, for a car. Think about that doctor that has to make it to, the, to that uh, very important operation. Think about that uh, attorney that has to make it to that very important court date. Think about that student that has to make it to uh, that, that very, very important task. Uh, think about the business people or businessmen, salespeople that have to go from one, one side of town to the other side of town or have to carry products or, uh, or uh, goods and products. Um, that was reason number two. Reason number two is livelihood. Reason number three. Our lives depend on automobiles. Think about all the accidents that you see, and it's a very, very serious product because our lives and our health depends on it. It's a very unique product. There's not that many products in your lifetime that you purchase that you could say your lives depend on it. Automobile is very, very important. So based on these facts, uh, I think uh, if you put all the logic together here, I think we could put a logical argument here that it, it is a significant enough product uh, based on these three major reasons that it is definitely worthy of having a consultant. Okay, uh, what do we do? I'm, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go in detail through step-by-step -step process of how the new processes that OC Auto Consultants uh, is offering you is differentiated what, uh, from what we have traditionally done in the past 10 years, past 20 years, past 30 years on our own. And uh, after I go through this, if you pay close attention to these, you'll notice that uh, a lot of these processes, we haven't just done a you know, minor 10%, you 20%, know, 30% 30%, process improvement here. What we have done is trans transform these processes 180 degrees and, and uh, we have and there are fundamental changes to the processes. So I hope you uh, pay close attention because I'm going to basically do a compare and contrast of our services, the way we do uh, the selection and uh, obtaining the lowest price on, on, on cars uh, versus what we have, we have done on our own for the past 10, 20, 30 years. Uh, step number one. Uh, selection of the vehicle, choosing, choosing the right car. Just think about how we have done it in the past. Think about all the different outside influences on our decision. Uh, all the different ads from television, from the radio, from the newspaper, from the internet. Word of mouth from your uncle, from your cousin, from your neighbor, from your friends and family, from your friends, from your acquaintances. Um, everything that influences our decision. And then, uh, uh, also think about and this and all and look at some of the logic we use. Uh, I've had clients that I call. I say, okay, why did you purchase a? For example, why do you purchase your Mercedes? They say, oh, because there's a Mercedes dealership in our city. Just think about the logic. Sounds. Sound, uh, think about how ridiculous that sounds and the, uh, how illogical that is. That you purchase such a significant product because it's next next door to your house. Uh, or some of the other reasoning, oh, uh, my wife liked that car, or my husband liked that car. I mean, uh, are these people that like, th that are influence, influencing your decision, are they automotive experts? I mean, think about it. Because your wife likes the looks of a car, you go purchase it, is that logical enough? If you think about all the facts that I mentioned earlier, how significant this product is, 
Doesn't that sound ridiculous and illogical to use that logic to go purchase a vehicle because your husband likes the looks of a car or your wife likes the name of a vehicle? Uh, all these different, th this is the way we have done it traditionally. Word of mouth, chasing ads, and influence from different automakers. Think about all the ads from different automakers. Billion, these 30 brands, these different manufacturers, they, they spend billions of dollars every year uh, just to influence your decision. Think about whether you want, a, you want the, pseudo, the most suitable product for your needs or you want uh, that automaker that has got the max, the, the, the absolute most money to, make, to, uh, to, create, uh, to create the best ad. Do you want the best ad or do you want the best product? Uh, think about the, again, think about the logic here. That was the way it has, it has been done traditionally. Now think about the services that we offer. Uh, what we do is we evaluate your needs. Uh, we need about 10, 20 minutes of your time when you contact us. We ask, we ask, uh, we ask you about the, uh, you know, what your usage of the vehicle is, how much space do you need, how many uh, passengers do you have, how much space do you need in the trunk, um, uh, what uh, type of roads you drive on. You know, Roads make a huge difference. The type of roads make a huge difference in the selection of an automobile. Uh, uh, do you drive uh, on highways and freeways? Do you drive on secondary roads where there's a lot of uh, stop and go? Do you drive on uh, slippery roads where there's snow, ice, rain conditions? Do you drive on uh, uh, mountainous roads or, very, or roads that have very sharp, dangerous curves? All of that makes a difference in selecting the right vehicle for you. Um, so we take this input from you. That's the first part of it. The second part of it is we try to um, um, see what your priorities are and priorities are in your, in your vehicle. And priorities is not just a matter of me as a consultant or as an analyst asking you what are your priorities. We want to set your priorities straight. Uh, I had a client who called. He wanted to, uh, uh, he wanted to purchase a vehicle for his 21-year-old daughter. I asked him, okay, what are your top three priorities in that vehicle? He said, okay, well, my daughter, number one priority is the looks of that vehicle. Number two is the name of that vehicle. Number three is the monthly payment. Think about it. Is that really what the priorities should be for the first car for your daughter has got no driving experience and, for example, is going to drive on, on high-speed highways or freeways? No, safety should have been priority number one, reliability and qual quality should be priority number two so that the vehicle doesn't strand her because she's not in a situation to bring the car every other week you know, for some type of repair. repair. Then you know, other, other uh, factors, you know, comfort, looks, they could become lower priority. So it's not just a, so, so it's very important that we discuss your priorities with you and decide what the priorities should be, the real priorities should be. So step number one in selecting the vehicle is uh, selecting the vehicle category. And this is very important. There are different categories of cars. You have sedans, you have luxury sedans, you have sports sedans, you have uh, uh, luxury SUVs, you have a sport SUVs, you have basic SUVs, you have convertibles, you have two-doors, two-door uh, sport coupes, you have two-door luxury coupes, you have minivans. There are so many different categories. And the reason I mention that, it might sound very basic, but a lot of my clients come back and when I evaluate their needs, I notice what they have, they have already chosen or the previous vehicle they have been driving is the wrong category. For example, they should have bought a luxury SUV. Instead, they, uh, they bought a uh, uh, luxury sedan or they should have bought, for example, a sport, uh, sport sedan. Instead, they bought a convertible. I'm talking about for their needs again, for their driving experience, for their driving style. So category, category of automobile is very, very important. Uh, once the category is determined based on what the input from you on your driving, driving uh, experience, your style, the type of roads you drive, we already eliminated these 400 vehicles, very systematically, systematically eliminated them down to 30 or 40 models. For example, we might come down and say, okay, these, there's 30, uh, let's say uh, the, the conclusion was that the, the best category for your needs is, uh, uh, for example, luxury SUVs. So you're already down to 30 or 40 vehicles that are all luxury SUVs, or they're all, 
you know, convertibles or, you know, whatever is most, uh, most suitable for you. Now we get into the priorities. Why do we emphasize this issue of priorities? The reason we, we emphasize the issue of priorities is that, is that there's no perfect vehicle out there. Every car has got trade-offs. Every car has got strength and weaknesses. If there, if there was a perfect car, then you don't have to worry about your priorities. We say, oh, this, week, this particular vehicle among the 400 vehicles that exist is the perfect car. It does not have any weaknesses, and it fits in, in your budget. Just go buy it. We don't care what your priorities are because it's number one in every single category when, it, when compared to its competitors. But there is, there is no such car. So in other words, pro, this is where the priorities come into play. So let's assume you're, uh, you know, we make a list of priorities and there, there's usually up to 25 to 30 different factors that are important in a vehicle. So let's assume uh, your top priorities, one through five, are safety, reliability, uh, interior space, uh, um, ergonomics of the cabin, and uh, fuel economy. What do we do? What we do is... Uh, our computer program, what it does is it aligns the strength of the, ve the vehicles with your priorities, with the, your top priorities, and because, every, again, like I said, every vehicle has got weaknesses, it aligns the weaknesses of those vehicles with your priorities that are the bo at the bottom of your list. For example, let's assume that, you know, acceleration is not that big of a deal for you. Uh, a fancy interior with wood and leather is not a major issue. Uh, how the transmission shifts is not a major. Those are at the bottom, you know, in the, let's say the last five of your priorities. As long as those are the weaknesses of the, that particular vehicle, there is no issue. But if those are the strength of those vehicles, then, then we have a problem. So our, um, our uh, patented software here, which is exclusive to OC Auto Consultants, is called Interactive Automobile Matchmaker. What this software does is uh, it matches the, uh, the strength of strengths of the vehicle to, the, uh, to your top priorities, the weaknesses to your low priorities, and comes back and uh, these uh, uh, 30, 40 models that uh, in that particular category, again, let's assume it's a luxury sedans or a sports sedans, whatever category that is, it's, uh, it's eliminated down to four or five models. And those four or five models, once we are down, once we are down to those four or five models, we know that those four or five models are the best matches, again, for your driving style, driving experience, the type of roads you drive, and your needs. So technically, the, the technical elimination part of the process is done. Uh, we know that those four or five models equally match all your needs. So we have peace of mind, peace of mind from a technical standpoint. So at this point, what we call buyer remorse is completely eliminated, and everyone knows what buyer remorse is. Uh, I just uh, had a client in Connecticut, uh, in the state of Connecticut, and uh, she uh, was driving a very sporty Acura RDX for a few years, and uh, a few months back, before she was my client, uh, she decides to go buy a Nissan Murano, brand new Nissan Murano, a $40,000 car. Three months later, she comes to me, uh, and she's like, I hate this car, I, I don't like this car. Do you think this happens often? It happens to millions of people. And uh, some people do something about it and they change the car. Some people, they live with it for three, four, five years. They drive the, the car they hate and they drive a car that is not suitable for their needs. So what happens here? She decides to get rid of it and get another car. The $40,000 Nissan Murano, even though it, it's only three months old, and it's got only 1,500 miles on the odometer, it's already down to $28,000. Think about, think about the, uh, uh, the big loss that you take here. And on top of that, what happens is uh, you lose all the sales tax. The sales tax, you know, let's say it depends on what state you live in. Let's say there's 10% sales tax. That uh, sales tax on, uh, on the $40,000 car would be about $4,000. You lose all of that as soon as you buy the car. It doesn't matter if you want to sell it three months later or you want to sell it 10 years later. You have, all of that is gone. If, for example, in this case, if she had leased, if she had leased this particular Nissan Murano, all she, had, she would have lost uh, are the sales tax on the monthly payments that she, uh, she made. For example, if she made 
three month three monthly payments so far at 10 percent let's say let's let's assume her monthly payment is 500 dollars so she would have paid 50 dollars 50 dollars and 50 dollars for the three months she would have lost 150 dollars versus the four thousand dollars that she just lost because she doesn't like the car and she wants to get get rid of it this is called buyer remorse we completely eliminate that because the the vehicle is such a match for you it's it's tailor-made to you it the it's a huge differentiation with what we do in the past. It's, it's like, you know, you have a, you know, you could, let's say you want to buy a suit. You go into Macy's, you go into Nordstrom, and uh, there are suits over there. You could buy it, or you could hire a tailor to tailor make that suit for you. This is what we do. We, we, uh, we try to customize the vehicle to your needs so that uh, the whole issue of uh, n not having a suitable vehicle or, or not liking the vehicle is completely eliminated. This is, this is huge because there are thousands of dollars uh, uh, at stake here. And this is the fundamental reason, again, you know, this technical part of uh, uh, matching the vehicle's specifications and technical, technical specifications to your needs is the fundamental reason we established the company. The rest of the stuff, you know, the incentives and get, finding the car, getting the lowest price, discounts, that's all icing on the cake. The main cake itself is the technical part, choosing the right vehicle. Um, so now, now we're down to four or five models uh, that are equally, from a technical standpoint, they're equally uh, match your needs. Uh, now, now our, the financial analysis uh, part, of our, uh, part of this process starts. So uh, the financial analysis starts with the, the number one, the most significant part of the financial analysis is determining the method of transaction. Is it going to be a lease? Is it going to be a purchase? Uh, uh, purchase is pretty much the same as financing. Is it going to be a certified pre-owned vehicle? Sometimes certified pre-owned vehicles make sense if they have depreciated enough and the vehicle is reliable enough and uh, the incentives on the new vehicle are not good enough, sometimes they do make sense. We do all that analysis, all that financial analysis for you to determine which one makes most sense for your financial situation and which one of these transaction methods puts you ahead uh, financially, maximum to the maximum level. After that, after the method of transaction, you know, based on uh, your financial situation, and you know, for your financial situation, you know, we look at your um, your income level, your monthly budget, how much down payment you have, um, um, what else? Your credit is very important. You know, for example, if you want to lease, uh, you have to have excellent credit, 680 plus FICO score, or if you have, let's say, average credit, sometimes they accept you at a higher rate, or uh, you might, they might ask you to bring a co-signer that has got provable income as well as um, um, excellent, excellent credit. The next step after the method of transaction is determined, whether it's going to be a certified pre-owned, um, a lease, a purchase, and uh, leasing is also uh, has got different categories. For example, you could lease and then turn the car in at, at lease hand, or you could lease and then purchase the vehicle. That's, that also has to be analyzed from a financial standpoint, see which one makes sense. So I'll, I'll give you a live example here. If you have a pen or pencil, you want to write this down, it will be very helpful. Um, a couple of months back, I had a client uh, uh, interested in a Cadillac CTS, excellent uh, $45,000 luxury car. It competes with the best from Lexus, uh, with, from uh, Mercedes, from Audi, from BMW, excellent, excellent, uh, very well engineered, high quality vehicle. $45,000 sedan. After discounts and after all the taxes and fees, uh, out the door price, including everything, was $46,000. $46,000 on this vehicle, that means that if you write a $46,000 check, the vehicle is yours. Uh, at the time, um, and, and the reason this client was looking to purchase was that he does a lot of miles. He does over 25,000 miles per year. And he also, you know, parks in restricted some, some areas where there's a lot of congestion and he's afraid that he's going to damage the vehicle. And of course, you know, on a lease, remember, you know, you return a car damaged, you know, hit the bumpers, a lot of big scratches. 
hit the rims, you're gonna you're gonna be paying for it. They're not gonna accept it. They're gonna be a lot. Of, there's gonna be a lot of penalties. Now, of course, on the mileage, remember, if you bring a lease vehicle, a lot of these luxury makers, if you're over the mileage limit of what what you originally purchased, let's say you did a 15,000 mile per year lease, if you return it at 25,000, for that extra mileage that uh, they usually charge you, depending on the uh, manufacturer, somewhere around between 20 to 25 cents. So the natural, the first natural instinct is to just purchase the vehicle because of these reasons. So at the time, uh, Cadillac was offering low interest financing. Um, uh, bank rate is usually uh, three to four percent these days, and at the time they were they were offering um, Ally, which is the financial arm of General Motors, was offering uh, 1.9 percent. So it was low interest financing. So basically, what you had was uh, you could do zero down on that particular vehicle, that uh, forty-five thousand dollar Cadillac CTS. It will be eight hundred dollars per month times sixty months. You pay a total of uh, forty-eight thousand dollars over sixty months, and the vehicle is yours. So this is easy. You know, if if, you, if the client called us, it's very easy for us. Just pick up the phone, call our Cadillac contact in that uh, near uh, near that city where uh, where the client is living, get the lowest price, piece of cake for OC Auto Consultants. But that is uh, that is not our job. That our job is to look at alternatives, to do analysis, to, to see what the best alternative is to put you ahead financially. So at the time, we also, even though the client was telling us they want to purchase the vehicle, we looked at a lease and see what the lease looks like on that particular vehicle. So the lease on that particular vehicle, at the time, Cadillac was offering for, uh, a special lease of $450 per month with zero down. Uh, again, you know, do not hold me to these numbers. These are just examples. You know, these, are, these numbers fluctuate up and down every week, every month. So uh, don't call me and say, oh, I want a Cadillac at that price. This was a situation a few months back. Everything changes. It's just like the stock market. The specials are just a, like the stock market. Sometimes they change daily. Sometimes they change, uh, sometimes they change weekly. Sometimes they change uh, on a monthly basis. So at the time, uh, Cadillac was offering with zero down $450 per month so, uh, on a 36-month lease. So uh, $450 times 36 months, you pay $16,000, $16,200, or let's, let's, let's say $16,000 over that 36-month period, and then you turn the car in. Or you could purchase the vehicle at the time in the contract the residual, which is the buyback of the vehicle after three years was set at 50%. And keep in mind that when they set a percentage, that percentage is always a percentage of the window sticker or the MSRP. It's not a percentage of what the final sale price after discount is. So at the time, you know, it's a $45,000 car, 50% of it is $22,000, $525,000. And that $22,500 is not out the door price because you have to pay the sales tax on top of that. So including the sales tax, that vehicle was twenty twenty four thousand five hundred dollars so here uh, the first 36 months you have paid 450 dollars times 36 sixteen thousand dollars plus uh, at least and you buy the vehicle and the reason you buy with the vehicle in this case is because you have those extra miles remember this client was driving over twenty five thousand miles per year you buy the vehicle at least and you don't want to turn it in and pay that penalty of you know twenty five cents twenty cents per month at 24.5 at least cent. If you add that up, it was 16,000 plus 24.5, you're getting $40,500. Now compare that to the $48,000 if you finance the vehicle from the beginning. Here you're, you're saving $7,500 just because you used OC Auto Consultants and you paid our $800 fee to do this analysis for you. So in other words, the, the um, end objective, the objective here was to keep the vehicle, you know, beyond four, five, six years. But you used financial manipulation of leasing, then purchasing the vehicle, as opposed to financing it from day one, and you got ahead about just over $7,000. And this is what we do. This is how we save you money, by doing analysis. Going into the dealership and butting heads and negotiating, uh, you know, anyone can do that. What we do is we use financial tools to put you ahead. This is a, you, these financial tools are sort of like, uh, in, a, in a financial market, are sort of like derivatives. So the straightforward thing is you go and buy the stock, the stock goes up and down. But then you could, uh, you could do derivatives, you could buy, uh, what do they call it, put options, buy options, uh, futures. 
the math gets a little bit more complicated, but the potential of uh, uh, you know, financial benefits goes up. And of course, you, know, you, do need, you do need somebody who knows what they're doing, and in this case, we'll do, that all, we'll do all these calculations for you. Okay, we have a very interesting movie. I'm going to um, describe the movie for a couple of minutes, and then uh, we'll put the movie for you. Um, a very interesting uh, issue um, in crashes, when the vehicle crashes, and I'm going to show you on this vehicle here. See, the, uh, from here to the front is called the uh, crash structure or the crush structure. The rest of it is the safety cage where the, where the passengers sit inside the vehicle. And, that, and the function of the crush structure is to fold. It needs to be flexible, so it folds to absorb the energy and the force of that crash. And a lot of times, you know, when uh, you see major accidents, especially head-on accidents, uh, you see that the car is totally crumpled in the front. And you say, oh, that car is not very good. You know, that car is totaled. Yes, it is totaled, but if it crumples correctly, it could save the lives of the passengers. And it's all based on the fundamental uh, formula in physics, which says uh, New Newton's law, F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. In this case, you have a deceleration. There's no acceleration, but there's a deceleration from a speed, let's say, at the point of contact, you were going 50 miles an hour, and at the end, you're down to zero. Obviously, after the accident, you're down to the speed of zero. And, of course, the mass. So the, that force is very important. It's very important to reduce that force because that is the force that enters the body of the driver and the passenger through the seat belt. So uh, the key here is that acceleration or deceleration to be reduced. And that deceleration, remember, it's... The initial speed, whatever speed you were driving before the accident, minus zero, which is the final speed, and in the di divided in the, in the denominator, you have the time it takes. So the longer it takes for it to crumple, the less force enters your body. So if you have a tank here, uh, let's say you're driving a tank, you a 50-ton tank, and it's not flexible, that time, it doesn't crumple. All the force is going to enter your body. You're going to die right away. If you get into, if you're going 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, and you run a tank into a concrete wall, there's no question about it. There's no possible way that you will survive. That you, what you try to do is increase the time, and increase. And, and uh, please uh, put the movie, and I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to explain to you how uh, uh, the the time. If you would, yes. Thank you very much. And in this case, you see, and you look at the timer. The time starts from the moment of the impact. In this case, it's 150 milliseconds, or 15% of one second. Again, pay close attention to it. From the moment of the impact until the whole crash is stopped, you're down to speed of zero. And 150 milliseconds. The, the longer this time, the, um, the less possibility of uh, internal bleeding and the, the force that is uh, transferred from the seat belt into the driver and the passenger are reduced. So the key here is to increase the time. Of course, you know, one way to increase this time is to increase the length of the crash, uh, crash structure that falls, but, you know, there's other limitations to that. And then... Of course, you know, the other, uh, the other objective is here not to have uh, penetration into the, uh, into the passenger compartment. That's another key. So it has to be just flexible enough, but it cannot be too flexible because if there's too much flex, and again, you know, look at these, uh, look at how the crash structure is, uh, is for this vehicle is total. The insurance company is not going to repair this vehicle. It's going to total this vehicle, so you're going to have to get another car, but it has saved your life. Lots of times you see the passengers walking out without even a scratch in, a, in this uh, particular case. And uh, I was mentioning if the front, if the crash structure is too, um, is too flexible, then you're going to have penetration of the engine. is going to come into the passenger compartment. So uh, that's going to be another issue. So, in other, in other, so it has to be really engineered. It has to, it has to be advanced engineering. Of that, crush, uh, of that crush or crash structure uh, to find that perfect balance between uh, the force that comes into the body 
uh, through the seat belt and uh, no penetration of the, of the engine and other, other uh, components into the passenger compartment. Okay, so um, we were talking about the different steps uh, of uh, how the, pro the new processes offered by OC Auto Consultants is differentiated from what we have done in the past. And again, I'm uh, Shahram Sarudi. I am uh, the senior analyst at OC Auto Consultants. All our information is on our website, www.ocautoconsult.com. If you go into the tab of, uh, once you go into the website, if you go on the tab of fees and policies, you could see the fees that we charge for our consulting. And uh, you see the telephone number on the, on the television screen. Um, we, if, if you have any questions, I'll be more than glad to uh, help you talk to you one-on-one -on, -one on the phone and help you because uh, there's a lot of new information. These are, again, these are new processes. They're, they are radical, they are, a lot of them uh, are not very similar to the old processes. It's the, we have really streamlined and improved uh, this, this whole process from A to Z, from the beginning of selecting the vehicle until you uh, take delivery of the vehicle. Okay, um, so after the, um, we were talking about uh, this, uh, we made, an ex you know, we made a live example to show you how we use financial tools and financial manipulation to put your head financially. Um, after, again, after this uh, method of transaction is determined, you know, whether it's a lease, whether it's a lease and then purchase at the end of the lease, whether it's a finance from the beginning or whether it's a certified pre-owned uh, used vehicle, uh, the next step, uh, the next step is uh, using uh, our financial tools on the, remember we were already down to four or five models that from a technical standpoint all match your needs and driving, uh, driving style. Now we want to reduce these four or five models down to one that is a perfect match both from a technical standpoint and from a financial standpoint. So the next uh, huge step, and this is very significant, is looking at the factory uh, incentives or factory specials. And factory specials or incentives have different categories. One of them is obviously the lease specials that they put on and those, some, of them, some of those are subsidized. Subsidized means that either the monthly payments are low or they help you with the down payment. They give you cash up front to, uh, to reduce the down payment. Uh, the second category is called rebates. That's the cash that, comes auto that automatically comes from the, um, from the manufacturer straight into the consumer, and the dealerships uh, usually have no problem with that. They, they uh, transfer 100% of it to you as a client. Number three is the low interest financing that I mentioned in this case, you know, Cadillac was offering 1.9%. Sometimes you see 0.9%. Sometimes on certain cars you see 0%. And uh, finally, uh, the last one is called dealer cash or marketing support. And those are the, that's the cash that, that comes from the manufacturer to the dealer to help the dealer sell the vehicle to you. And uh, the dealer is not, uh, doesn't have the obligation. It, it's not obliged to transfer 100% of that money to you. In other words, uh, they could, uh, the dealer, you know, transfers that to you, but it says, oh, this is the discount I'm giving you. They don't tell you this is, uh, this, this is like the secret money down here, and we are aware of it because we are in contact with the manufacturers. So the dealerships that we deal with, you know, they transfer 100% of the marketing support to you. But 95% uh, of the time, that's not the case when you go to the dealership on your own. So here, you know, if we are already from these four or five vehicles that we are, you know, we eliminated the 400 vehicles down to four or five models, if you have already locked into one and we have already picked one, then we do the analysis to see, okay, which one, you know, does leasing, is there a special on the lease, is there a special, is there a cash rebate, is there a special on, um, on financing, we look at that. Or, better yet, if you are more flexible, and flexible means that uh, you give us the freedom and the latitude to do the analysis, to do the financial analysis on all these four or five models, and then come back and tell you, okay, financially, this particular model among these four or five uh, is, has the best incentive from the manufacturer. 
And remember, these uh, incentives for the manufacturers are very, very important to take advantage of because sometimes they're, they're 60 to 70% of the total discount. Maybe 30% of the discount comes from a dealer, and the other 70% comes from the manufacturer. So if you pick the wrong car and you go into the vehicle that doesn't have this incentive, then even if you're the best negotiator in the world, or if you bring this family member that is the best negotiator in the world, you could, you, you're always denied that money that comes uh, from the factory if you have picked the wrong car. Uh, so so this is, this is uh, very important. So again, you use the financial tools to choose. The, if you want to get ahead financially, if, if, if dollars are important to you, you use the financial tools to pick the vehicle as opposed to the traditional model of, okay, picking the vehicle, then let's say, okay, should we lease or should we buy? So this is, this is a very, very um, important point here. So after we do that and you look at the factory specials then, uh, or the factory incentives, then usually you know that four or five models is already eliminated to the final model and that final model is the perfect suit for you. It's completely tailor-made because you have peace of mind that from a technical standpoint it's perfect and from a financial point is the most beneficial to you from a financial standpoint. So uh, from both sides, the best of both worlds basically. And this is the equivalent of uh, basically, let's say you want to go buy a house. There are 500 houses uh, in the market in that, in that particular city. And each one of them has got its strength, weaknesses. Or you could go and buy the land and custom make the house for, you, for yourself. Have an architect and have a, possibly an engineer and a builder to custom make the house for you. And that's what this is, this is you know, eliminating the, those 400 models of cars down to one is the equivalent of custom building your own house. You could basically put whatever you want in it, uh, whatever your heart desires, basically, to, to uh, satisfy your needs and uh, your desires and your requirements. So again, uh, if you, know, you show us, if you, don't show, if you remove all the preconceived notions about brands and all your biases toward brands and models, and give us that freedom and latitude and show us that flexibility, we could offer you the best value, the best vehicle technically, and the best value for your money. <coughs> okay, um, so uh, let's say we're down to one model. Let's say, it, for example, let's say it's a BMW X5, just, just to make an example here. Now we get to the next step, the options on the vehicle. Remember, there are a lot of standard features on the vehicles, but there are some options that you pay extra for. And those option, options, uh, us as consultants to you, or as, us as, uh, as uh, your consultant, um, your automobile consultant, uh, we, uh, we need to discuss these with you to see if, uh, if there's value with those options. In other words, are they worth paying the extra money for? So we analyze those. Uh, these options have different categories. Some of them are safety options that sometimes are priceless. Sometimes paying an extra $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 for safety options, uh, I mean, you can't even put a price on it if it's going to save your life or one of your loved, uh, loved one's uh, lives. Then there, is, uh, then there is no question about it. But there are a lot of different options. There are camera systems that prevent accidents. There are systems, uh, electronic systems in a chassis, such as uh, electronic stability control, all-wheel drive, that, uh, that prevent accidents. Those definitely need to be discussed. Another category of options, of course, the, uh, are the comfort options, you know, sunroof, leather. Some of them, are, uh, some of them have really comfort, uh, comfort values, such as the seats. You know, sometimes you could upgrade the seats. And, it, let's say if you have back problems or disc problems or neck problems, sometimes, uh, again, these options become priceless. Uh, and then there are also, you know, some of them are fancy. Let's say, you know, you have to have leather uh, or, or should I say luxury options. Uh, upgrade sound system. You could buy a $100,000 Mercedes and uh, they, they might still ask you to pay an extra, let's say, $8,000 for an upgrade sound system. It sounds ridiculous, but that's the reality. So we'll discuss them. Uh, with you to see if it's worth paying the extra money for or not. So 
the vehicle, the make and model is determined, the color, you know, is your choice, and then the, um, um, of course, the options are determined, the vehicle is ready to be found, and we get uh, an OC Auto Consultants, uh, the next step uh, for our, uh, our process is uh, we find that vehicle in a dealership near you, let's say maximum uh, 50 to 60 mile radius. Most of the time, 90% of the time, it's closer than that. But uh, it wouldn't necessarily be in your city, but it will be within, uh, within an hour drive. Uh, because, you know, we deal with select dealerships. We have handpicked these dealerships. Um, remember, there are about uh, t more than 20,000 new car franchises in, in the 50 states, in the United States. And uh, we have handpicked about 2,500 of them. And uh, the reason we have handpicked these particular 2,500 uh, is that because they have very exclusive characteristics that I'll explain to you. Number one characteristic is that uh, they, they work based on volume. In other words, they, they make less profit per vehicle, but they sell in high volumes. So uh, they always, because of that, they always offer the absolute lowest price in the market to us. Number two is that they give you five-star service. You know, you're, you're making a major investment, 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollar investment. There's no reason why you shouldn't receive the service that, you're not, that, uh, that is not similar to what you're getting at, let's say, a five-star hotel. They give you complete service. All the traditional games, back and forth games, of getting there and the price is changing and getting there and the color of the vehicle changing and getting there, the options changing the vehicle, the vehicle that you wanted was black, you drive out with a red car. You, you wanted leather, you drive with, a, uh, with fabric seats. All of that is completely eliminated. If you enjoy those games, if you enjoy those games, do not contact us because we do not have, we have no tolerance for those games and those games do not exist in our business. So, uh, you know, when you look at the surveys that are sent out, 90% of the people that we see say they hate the traditional process. So I can't imagine that many people liking them. But if you're one of those, you know, one in a thousand that enjoy, you know, going and butting heads with dealers and, you know, those games that, you know, you know exactly what I mean, please do not contact us because you're wasting our time and you're wasting, uh, wasting your, uh, our time and your time. Our business is done 100% professional, just like the professional you, you are, whatever, whatever your field is, uh, they deal with you in a professional way. Um, uh, like I said, you know, the exact car is determined. Uh, you know, we, what we're going to do is we will email you the specifications of that car to all, that, all the details, how much the down payment is, what the monthly payment is, what the uh, tax is, and the, all the exact options on the vehicle. And uh, what we do, uh, what we want you to do, once you receive that email, it's very important for you to secure that vehicle because there might be only one of those in the, at that dealership. So what you do is you, within 24 hours, you contact the sales, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, the, you, in that email, we include the contact information for the sales manager that you'll be dealing with, uh, telephone number of the sales manager and the name of the sales manager. You contact the sales manager as soon as you receive that email within 24 hours. Uh, they char uh, if you cannot make it to the dealership within 48 hours, for whatever reason, you know, sometimes you know, a lot of our clients are busy, they have to wait until, let's say, the weekend uh, of that week to, to make it to the dealership. What they do is they put a $500 deposit on your credit card to hold the vehicle. That secures the vehicle. We're 100% uh, uh, we, we have peace of mind that the vehicle is not going to get sold. That's very important because if the vehicle does get sold, then we cannot, uh, then first of all, we have to uh, start all the process and do redundant work, and we don't do the redundant work. And uh, second of all, you know, we cannot guarantee the same type of low pricing if the vehicle gets sold. So that deposit uh, holds the vehicle, that, that $500 deposit on your credit card, and it's refundable. 100% of it comes back to you, so you don't have to worry. It's just securing the vehicle so that it doesn't get sold. and. Uh, uh, one thing that I wanted to mention, uh, it, sometimes, you know, there is a possibility that that particular dealership does not have the exact car with that color and uh, option combination, and uh, they do their best to find the car at another dealership and bring it to you, basically, or bring it to their dealership, 
uh, basically they do a dealer trade, but it has to be within the region. You know, it's not, they're not going to, uh, you know, if you're in California, they're not going to go bring a car from New York. But if it's in a region, let's say if it's in Southern California, that another dealership, if the vehicle exists on the ground, uh, they do their best to uh, get it for you so that, uh, you know, again, the objective here is to make you 100% satisfied. We want to, we want to, us as OC Auto Consultants and the dealership that we work with, we want to give you five star customer service. So, um, uh, Basically, you know, uh, like I said, you know, it's going to be a very, uh, very professional relationship with us. It's, got the, it's not going to be a sales relationship. So pay attention. Please pay attention to this. This is very important. Sales relationship is when you take 10 Saturdays, you go from one dealership to another, you bought heads, you negotiate. That's called sales dealership. There's sales relationship. There's no uh, expectation from either side. Uh, when you deal with us, we do expect you to go pick the vehicle up. Uh, and, you know, if you don't, and one of the thing, one of the most important things is, is take advantage of that incentive. Take advantage of uh, uh, those, those discounts are time sensitive. The deal that we get you today, the discount that we get you today might not exist anymore within a week. So if you don't take advantage of it, you don't go pick the vehicle up, you might miss on that deal. The second thing is you waste the fee that, you have, that uh, you're paying us. You know, like I said, you, know, you could see our, our fees on our website, www.ocautoconsult.com. Our fees are consulting fees. They're not contingent upon whether you're going to pick the vehicle up or not. They're not contingencies. They're not like you know, sales commission that if, I, if we sell the vehicle, we get our commission. Uh, once the consulting starts, we put time and resources into it. We, an we do the analysis. The information we pass on to you puts your head financially, saves you time, saves you a lot of money, and saves you all, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, headaches and hassle, and most importantly helps you uh, choose the best vehicle for your money, which is completely priceless. So once the consulting starts, the fee will be charged uh, regardless of your final decision. It's a professional relationship. A professional relationship is when you go to your doctor. When you go to your doctor, they, he, uh, that he or she evaluates your needs, then writes the prescription. There's no contract here that says you have to go fill the prescription, but there is a professional expectation. There's professional courtesy here, and the doctor expects you to go fill that prescription. And we do expect you to, you know, if you're using an expert, a consultant, we do expect you to go uh, to follow, you know, what we uh, what we are recommending, and go and go and pick the vehicle up. And uh, one quick note before we end this. Uh, we do work with used cars, the same processes. Uh, mostly, 90% of the time, we, uh, if, we, if it has to be a used car, it will be a certified pre-owned car, which has been inspected through the fact, uh, by the factory technician and examined all the, uh, they usually test about 300 systems in the vehicle. It has to pass all the tests, and they add to the warranty, so there's, uh, and then they do, do a complete, thorough background check, make sure there's no, there's been no frame damage, no salvage title, uh, and then, once in a while, you know, we do deal with non-certified pre-owned vehicles, but we do not work with vehicles under $10,000. And for your vehicle, for your used vehicle, we have buyers that pay the maximum amount. So anytime you wanted to sell your used vehicle or trade it in, uh, we do find you buyers. We have in every city around the country, we have used car buyers that specialize in that vehicle. Let's say they specialize in in used German cars, or they specialize in used luxury European cars, or they specialize in luxury SUVs. And those are the ones that usually have customers on the vehicle, so they pay the maximum amount. So we usually contact 10, 15, 20 different people to see who pays the maximum amount. So definitely, definitely we do our best to get the maximum price for your used vehicle, so it wouldn't necessarily, your trade-in would not necessarily be traded into the dealership where you pick up the new, new vehicle. Sometimes it, it is the case, but not all the time. It could be sold to some other. And at any time, uh, you know, when, you're, when you have a lease or you're financing a vehicle, at any time, you don't have to wait until the lease is up. If you feel like for some reason you don't like the car or you, don't, or you have a problem affording the payments, at any time you could trade it in. You do not have to wait until uh, your financing period is over or the lease is up. At any time, you could contact us. We'll let, us, let you know, you know what it takes 
for you to get rid of that car and uh, put you into a newer car that's more suitable or less expensive. Uh, again, uh, I, I am Shahram Surudi with uh, OC Auto Consultants. I want to thank you for taking your time and uh, listening to our program. If you have any questions, uh, you, ha you have the phone number on the, on the screen. And uh, don't forget to visit the, uh, the website, www.ocautoconsult.com. Thank you very much. Take care.